So I would encourage you in these things to just go simply go into the trust of relationship, build that relationship, get to know him. You will find you know yourself, your identity will be revealed. That will unveil your position, your destiny, and you'll find you can just do like Jesus, only do what you see the Father doing. You won't have to try and figure this transition that happened, what, that James was writing in the period that Jesus promised everything would be fulfilled and he would return in to end the old and begin the new fully. Um, and in this period, the old was obsolete, was fading away, but it was still there and they were challenged. Of course, the, Jesus warned of the religious and political spirit. So he warned don't that they will be persecuted by the religious and political spirit. And of course they were. But also don't let that infiltrate you. Don't beware of the leaven of Herod and the Pharisees. In other words, don't take on the old in the new. And Jesus came to reveal what God was really like, not the God that they thought he was in the old covenant. So Jesus revealed it in love. So love is the basis of the new covenant. So I would encourage you to just stay in love, enjoy love, receive that unconditional love that will empower you to love others as he's loved you then you won't get caught up in trying to understand all of the transition and what was written to them because there's so many things written like are you wearing a head covering if you're not wearing a head covering will you not fulfill in corinthians are you silent you know or are you allowed to speak are you allowed to be in any form of leadership if you're a woman it's like all of this stuff is really contextually there in that transition period and paul was trying to help them work through this persecution by the religious spirit them trying to get them back under the law being judaized and brought back under the law and also pressure to accept caesar as god and live under that political system in the roman empire it was such a difficult time but jesus came fully ended the old um, destroyed the temple the temple got destroyed you know and then we're now the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are now the new new creation in Christ. We are the new Jerusalem. We are actually the new heavens and the new earth because the temple, which was the old heavens and the earth was destroyed by fire. And now we are that new. They were living in a time when the temple still existed. Animal sacrifices still continued. They still followed the law of Moses in that system. And they were trying to get them to go back under the law. And the Galatians were even deceived by that. Paul said, well, who's bewitched you, you foolish Galatians? You started out in grace and now you're going back under the law? Then it's never going to work. And of course, that was what they were always being deceived. It's the same today. All religious systems will try and get us to live by law rather than grace. We are empowered by the limitless grace of God to live in fulfillment of our destiny as a child of God, a son of God. Let's embrace that grace and mercy and love and live in the joy and peace of rest, ceasing from our labors, ceasing striving to be pleasing to God, to try and be obedient to God, not trying to prove to God by your works that you're acceptable or good enough, just accepting what he's done for you. That's all it, all it needs to enter into what he's already done and enjoy it and rest in it and have a wonderful life where we're out working that amazing relationship. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.